Because of what I podcast about all the time, I'm getting this question over and over and over again. It's finally time that we talk about it. So you know what your purpose is. You got your passion. You know what your goal is, and you even have it written down. You've probably went through one of my courses. What do I do next? What is the first step to achieving this goal. That's what we're going to hit on right today. A nice step-by-step process that you can follow to finally, finally achieve that goal. Welcome to The Richie Show, a personal development mastermind. Richie is an entrepreneur, speaker, author of In Spite of the Odds, and he's addicted to motivating, inspiring, and sharing the valuable information he used to accomplish his dreams so you can accomplish yours. All right, so I just want to be clear on this, that you've written your goal down and you've gone through all the steps. So things like what relationships do I need to build? What obstacles do I need to overcome? You've got kind of a step, uh, some kind of landmarks of where you need to be at specific times with a date. This is critical. If you're you're still wishy-washy and you're not 100% sure, if you have that, then definitely check out my course. It's at My Bliss University or at Udemy. I'll have links below for that um, for you to check that out. Now, if you have that, you've got it written down, you're ready to rock and roll. You even have these landmarks, but you're like, Richie, what is my first step? How do I get this thing rocking and rolling? And the first thing before we even get started, and you have to understand this, and this is something that you have to do Every single day. You can't take a day off from this. Uh, I'm tired of hearing, oh, I gotta take a day off. I gotta take Sunday off. I love this. Grant Cardone says this. He goes, he goes, um, he goes, oh, I'm taking Sunday off because uh, it's a day that I, I need to rest. I need to rest. The only reason that the Sunday was a day of rest is because for the six days leading up to it, God created the world and then he had to rest on Sunday. I'm pretty sure you didn't create the world in the six days leading up to this. So this whole thing of where, oh, I've got to rest on Sunday. If you want to really achieve massive success and get that goal, then you can't take a day off. Now, you could take a day. You definitely need to rejuvenate your body. You need to relax. I get that. But this first step here is something that you can do every single day, all right? And that is you have to envision it. You've got to have the vision of where you want to be. You've got to see yourself in that spot. You have, to, you have to literally see yourself already achieving that goal. And I'm telling you, it makes you feel crazy, whether that's a financial goal. So actually printing out your bank statements or, or getting them onto your computer and then literally using like a computer software to, to scratch off the the amount and add zeros or just add zeros to the end of it. I'm telling you, the way that it makes you feel is really cool. And so what this is, is it's called a vision board. It's called a vision board and it's something you're going to want to look at every single day because we're going to envision this in our mind, but it's really easy to do. There's phone apps that you can that you can go to to create a, a vision board, or you can just go to your local Michaels or even Walmart, and you can buy a like a board that you would put on the wall, just any type of like pinup board, and you're going to go on your computer and you're going to print pictures of what it will look like once you achieve your goal, and then you're going to pin it on the board, and then you're going to look at it every single day, right? So if that if that um, goal is financial, then you're going to look at that bank statement every single day. One A great story that I heard, Jim Carrey. Everybody knows Jim Carrey, right? He wrote a check to himself. This goes kind of in the law of attraction, the vision board deal. He wrote a check to himself for $10 million and dated it, Okay. One week, five years, this for five years, this check deteriorated in his wallet, deteriorated, deteriorated, deteriorated. And one week after he after um Dumb and Dumber launched, he found out he was gonna make ten million dollars off of Dumb and Dumber. One week before the date on that check. Stuff is real, man. It works. It just works. Your brain, just like writing down your goal, your brain levitates to that. Okay. You've got to want it more than everybody else. 
And you can't have a plan B. You've got to want it more than everybody else, and you can't have a plan B. I say this all the time, that your passion, your goal, you need to go after your goal as if your life depends on it. Because it does. Your life does depend on it. And there isn't a plan B. I hate when people will say, whoa, what if this is just stuff they teach you and like they teach you in schools and all this stuff. You got to have a plan. No, you don't need a plan B. You need a plan A and you're going to fight for it and you're going to fight for it and doors are going to open if it doesn't happen and you're going to keep getting up and you're going to keep getting up and you're going to keep failing and you're going to keep getting up and then you're going to get it. This whole thing of plan B, it just allows you to fall back onto it. No, no plan B. So you got to want it without a plan B. Um, the next thing is you need to write out what that first step is. And for everybody, that first step is, is, is going to be different. And I'm going to give you an example so you can put it into context for yourself. But when I was writing my book, the first step for me was to literally open up a word document and make a table of contents. That was the first step. That's all I focused on. That's literally all I focused on for like a week. I didn't think about the book, the cover, the... No. All I focused on is I'm going to have the table of contents and I'm going to have it done by such and such date. And that's what I focused on. If I started focusing on like what the back cover is going to look like or like who's going to endorse the book and how I'm going to market it, it would have been a nightmare. (laughs) It's just the first step. What is the first step and have a deadline for that? First step. Um, I love this. You have to want it more than you don't. And I know we kind of just talked about this, but I want to bring it up again because I was actually, I, I, I do some consulting for a, an organization, an amazing organization and um, we have teams, and um, I got to lead a team not that long ago, and I was super excited about it, and I told the team, I said, I hate to lose way more than I love to win. I hate to lose way more than I love to win, and you've got to want it more than you don't want it. You have to want it more than you don't want it, and you've got to hate to lose more than you love to win. Because if you hate to lose so much, it won't happen. You won't lose. And I know we kind of talked about that, but I got to bring it back up again because I love it. I love it. Um, now, uh, so every time you get a breakthrough, every time you make a, a big jump ahead, you have to pay something forward. It requires a bold move at times, okay? So... For example, in the investing world, okay, um, you have to spend money to make money. And, and usually, to make that big money, you have to take a big risk and make a bold move. Like, that's just the bottom line. Like, when I was trying to go, um, you know, when I was planning on going to Ole Miss, right, and I was like, I'm going to play Division I college football. You know, I, I could have went to a small school and played and, you know, maybe would have been fun. No, I made a bold move. I said, I'm going to go all in and I'm going to go to Ole Miss without a plan B. No plan B. And I went to Ole Miss and that's how, and I, and I fought and fought and fought until the end until I earned a scholarship, until I played in games, until I graduated. Because I didn't have a plan B, and I needed to make a bold move. So when you're going after this major goal or dream that you want to accomplish, at some point in time, you're going to have to make a bold move. Something is going to have to happen, and you're going to have to take a big risk. If you look at most successful people, all self-made successful people, at some point or another, they may had to make a big decision that was a super bold move. 
Super Bowl move. Next thing is ask for feedback. Got to get feedback. Got to get, got to, got to, got to get feedback. When you're going after this goal, things are going to happen. You have to get feedback. Got to, got to, got to get feedback. So I'm going to ask you guys a feedback on this podcast. So if you're watching this on YouTube, leave me a comment below with some feedback. If you're on Stitcher, if you're on iTunes, find me on YouTube, find me on my website, go to my contact form, leave me some feedback. I want feedback because I want to get better. If you want to achieve your goal and if you want to get better in life, you want feedback. And this is what, this is actually, I was recently at a speech on Saturday night and this came up. It's not always about achieving the goal. It rarely is. It's never about the money. Money, at some point, money just become points in a game. Look at Donald, look at, look at Donald Trump, for example. Look at uh, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, billionaires. Do you think, uh, I watched an awesome uh, mo- a video actually on Warren Buffett, and he goes, I can buy anything I want, but I can't buy time. I can buy anything I want, but I can't buy time. I don't even remember what I was talking about just that. <laughs> but that's for real. At some point in time, money doesn't matter. It's like points on a, in a game. It's about changing the world. It's about changing the world. And the only way to change the world is to get feedback. The only way to improve is to get feedback. Take that feedback. You know, take it with a grain of salt. You're going to get criticism. And that's okay. Um, but taking the, the appropriate feedback and putting it into action. And then rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat this process. Over and over and over and over and over again until you have your product, until you have your goal, until you have what it is that you want. It's that simple. I don't want to make this super, super complicated because it's not. It really isn't. That's one thing that I see people do over and over and over again is they make things so freaking complicated. It's not that complicated. It really isn't. I remember I was talking to somebody and I wanted to do a podcast and it was like, well, it's going to cost you like $15,000 and all this lighting and all this blah and microphone and blah, blah, blah. No, it's not that freaking complicated. It took me like a week to set it all up so that it goes through all the different things. And then I have an amazing person who's watching this, who's about to edit this, Mary, um, who, who puts it through the process. Like, yeah, I have lighting and I have cool things and I have a good camera and and a microphone, but it wasn't that complicated. It wasn't rocket science, but gosh, dang, people make it so ridiculously complicated and then they never do it because they're like, oh, it's too complicated. So dumb. Don't let the fear of failure stop you from taking the first step. That's the last thing I'm going to say. So, all right, first, got to write it down. And I got notes here because, gosh, I want to have notes, whatever. First thing is to write it down. Got to have a date. Got to envision it with a vision board every single day, even on Sundays. You got to want it with no plan B. You have to, you have to think about it as if your life depends on it because it does. Your life depends does depend on it set the first few action steps um with reward so you're gonna have that first thing you know my first week i am going to have the table of contents and my reward for doing that is going to be my favorite frozen yogurt place which is munchies frozen yogurt (laughs) you gotta want it more than you don't you gotta hate to lose more than you love to win bottom line Every breakthrough um, requires some risk or being bold or a bold move. Um, You got to, you got to, you know, to jump ahead, you got to give out with an investment. Same thing with a, with a risky move. Um, Get feedback. Got to get feedback, 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 feedback. Don't be, don't be scared of, excuse me, of criticism. People get so scared of criticism. I don't want to be criticized. Why? I want to criticize me, please. 
just not in the comments on YouTube. Send me a contact form. If you go to richiecontardacy.com and you hit contact, send me some negative crap. I had a really good friend of mine. I'm not going to throw him under the bus, but he called me and he shared with me that I was sucking. And I, re- I listened to the my video or it was a podcast and I was like, dang, I sucked. I wasn't myself. I filmed it at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> But that's not an excuse. I wasn't myself. So I was mad about it. I was loved the criticism because I might have done it again. So get the feedback. Got to get feedback. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Don't let the fear of failure stop you. And that's it, guys. That's it. It's that simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm going to keep this podcast short, sweet, and simple. And please, if you're listening to me on iTunes or Stitcher, subscribe to my podcast. If no, Don't do it if you don't want to. If you're going to want to subscribe to my podcast, if you're going to want to listen to some great information that's going to help you find your purpose, find your passion, achieve your goals, and live the life that you want to live. If that's what you want, Subscribe to my podcast. If it's not what you want, don't subscribe to my podcast. If you're on YouTube, again, same thing. Subscribe if you want or if you don't. But definitely leave a comment below. Any questions, concerns, anything you want to add, anything you want to remove, um, any type of criticism, send it to my contact form. And don't give me a thumbs down. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to give me a thumbs down, you can give me a thumbs down if you really feel it. Um, But thank you so much for joining me today. This is The Richie Show, and I'll see you next week. You go out and have yourself a great week.